Tennessee Weather Lab. Here's Eric's forecast. The typical August weather just continues to roll right along for us here in Acadiana. Started off with those hot and humid conditions with highs getting close to the lower 90s, but then as we push into the afternoon, start to see those pop up showers and thunderstorms developing across portions of Acadiana. That'll continue at least through the next several hours, which should fade after the sun goes down around 8 o'clock this evening, but then we'll do it all over again, at least for the first half of the work week through Wednesday before things begin to maybe change a little bit, drying out and getting hotter for the second half. Half. So let's take a look across the southeast and you can see the scattered activity extends all the way back towards Florida up into the Carolinas back into Tennessee. So just widespread scattered activity very summer like across a good portion of the southeast as we have this upper level trough which is helping to get this activity going across a good portion of the region this afternoon. Taking a closer look across the Pelican State shows that we've had those scattered showers in and around Acadiana. A little better rain chances down towards Morgan City, Homa and over towards New Orleans and that's where we continue to see some light activity activity ongoing this evening, but we'll take a closer look at some of the areas seeing the heavier rains right now across Acadiana and that was over in Jeff Davis Parish now pushing into the western portions of Acadia just north of Highway I-10 and you can see it's anyway from Keystone up until Eunice. That's where we have our strongest even some decent thunder and lightning, but you can see that's even beginning the weekend also down towards Lake Arthur. A decent little thunderstorm still hanging on at this hour and over towards the east. We have a few showers down along Highway 90 in Iberia Parish. Also a couple of showers and storms up in the St. Martin Parish and Brobridge down the St. Martinville and over to good home. Coteau homes. So it's just going to be one of those nights where you might run into a passing shower, but they should begin to fade over the next couple hours. And I think by 9, 10 o'clock, all that activity comes to an end. But if you were able to dodge the rain today, another hot one, as you can see, Opelousas to Cairn Crow, you were in the 90s throughout most of the day, now falling into the upper 80s. We got 87 here in the Hub City, 92 for New Iberia, and a little bit cooler where they have had some of those rain showers off to the west. But just a very typical summer like day for us here across a good portion of South Louisiana. Louisiana. So through tonight, the rain showers begin to dissipate. We start off dry conditions, maybe a coastal shower first thing in the morning, but no real issues for your morning commute. Lunchtime even looks okay, but as we push into the afternoon, it does look by 2, 3 o'clock, we'll start to get those pop-up showers and storms developing across a good portion of Acadiana. Still, not everyone will see the rain, but I will go about 30-40% chance that you'll have an opportunity to maybe get a brief passing shower at some point on your Monday. The model has it drying out by 6 o'clock, but I wouldn't be surprised if some showers at least continue through 6, 7 o'clock again tomorrow evening. It won't be until after sunset that we see that activity ding, and then we just rinse, wash, and Pete for our Tuesday started off with dry, hot and humid conditions with the chance for scattered showers during the afternoon. So you're just going to want to keep that umbrella with you or at least handy the next several days in case you do run into some of those hit or miss showers out in the tropics. The fading system continues to weaken as it runs into some upper level wind shear. As you can see, not a whole lot associated with this. And so with the latest update this afternoon, the National Hurricane Center has now dropped it down to just a 0% chance, and I expect this to continue the weekend in the coming days over in the Pacific. We're still keeping an eye on Tropical Depression Eric as it moves off to the west now west of the Hawaiian Islands. As for Flossie, it's now beginning the weekend. Not a whole lot associated with it, but still could brush by close to some of the big islands of Hawaii by about tomorrow afternoon into Tuesday. And then we also have Tropical Depression Gil, but you can see not a whole lot associated with that, and that should continue to dissolve by about tomorrow afternoon. But in the big picture, it looks like things are quieting down and no models are showing any activity over the next seven to ten days. So that is some good news in the Atlantic. But in the meantime, just a few showers over the next couple hours. Otherwise, a warm and sticky, very trip topic. Typical August night, 74 for that low. And then we do it all again for our Monday. Hot and humid first off, 90 degrees, feeling close to the upper 90s with that 30-40% chance for some hit or miss. Showers stays that way all the way through Wednesday. Then rain chances go down and temperatures start to come up as I think we could be around the mid-90s heading towards the weekend with those feel-like temperatures getting back up into those triple digits. So very much like that August heat and humidity. And it looks like a very typical summer pattern for the next 10 days.